friends, my name is Mahmoud Sajid and you are watching Introduction of Biology with Mahmoud Sajid. We have studied chapter number 6, Enzymes, in which today we study about the mechanisms of enzyme action. We study about the two models, the first is model and the second one is the juice and the bit model. Don't forget to watch this video till end. Before starting the lecture, if you are my channel, please subscribe to my channel. You will be getting next video. So, let's go to the screen. So, uh, today's topic is Mechanism of Enzymes Action. What is Mechanism of Enzymes Action? When enzymes attach with substrate, a temporary enzyme substrate ES complex is formed. There's an equation that after when uh, enzymes and substrate attach with each other, they form, uh, for some time they form ES complex. After some time, when E enzymes catalyze the reaction and substrate is transferred, uh, converted into sub, uh, product. So, after ES complex, uh, enzymes uh, uh, is uh, releases the product. So, this is the equation of uh, mechanism of enzymes action. In uh, uh, the function of on the function of mechanism of enzyme action, two model are given. On attaching uh, the enzymes with substrate, there are two models that are given. First is lock and key model, and second one is uh, uh, induce and fit model. But before this, there's a diagram of enzyme ES complex. You can see that in blue there's enzymes, and in uh, pink there's a substrate. After some time, they uh, form a ES complex, means enzyme substrate complex. After this. The enzymes releases the product in which uh, the shape of uh, product substrate is changed. So this is the uh, en enzymes uh, ES complex. The en enzymes of uh, mechanism of enzyme action. So next is the model of uh, uh, on the mechanism of enzyme action. So let's uh, uh, let's re study. First, uh, there is a lock and key model. First model is lock and key model. Who gave the lock and key model? In order to explain the mechanism of enzymes action, a German chemist emailed fixture in 1894. The lock and key model was given in uh, 1894 by email fixture. Uh, proposed lock and key model. According to this model, this model describes the specificity of enzymes. That the shape of enzymes in never changed. Uh, as you can see the diagram, the active site of enzymes is uh, uh, not changed as the, as the shape of the substrate is same to the active site of these uh, uh, enzymes. So, a uh, lock and key model describe the uh, specificity of enzymes like same that the uh, key for a lock is specific same like this the enzyme is specific for a substrate. But uh, this model is not uh, used in today. Uh, so uh, this is the this model tell the specificity of enzymes. This is the lock and key model. 18, in 1894, a German chemist email fixture proposed this model. So the next model is induced fit model. Induced fit model. In 1958, an American biologist Daniel Koshland suggested a modification to lock and key model and proposed induced and fit model. According to this model. Enzyme uh, the active site of enzymes change is uh, shape as a required substrate. As you can see the diagram, uh, the red color is of enzymes and the uh, pink color is of substrate. Uh, the uh, active site change is shape, uh, shape as to the given substrate. According to this model, active site is not rigid, not rigid of some enzymes structure rather it is molded into required shape to perform its function to digest the substrate into uh, the product induced fit model is acceptable than lock and key model of enzyme action induced fit model is uh, rather acceptable than the lock and key model so the induced fit model is uh, very uh, is used in today but lock and key model is not acceptable so, in 1958, an American biologist, Daniel Koshland, suggested the modification between the uh, a, to the lock and key model and proposed a new model that is induce and fit model. So, this is the uh, mechanism of enzymes action. So, that's all. Uh, today's lecture is finished. If you like my video,
video, please like it. And if you have any problem about this topic, please tell me in the comment. Once again, if you're new on my channel, please subscribe to my channel so you can get my latest videos. So, we'll meet in the next lecture. Till then, Allah Hafiz.